pestilence here, and I have a small warded lock, uh, very, very oily. Uh, the reason for that is that uh, it was really, really rusted. And so I ended up uh, oiling it up. I actually filed some of the rust off, and then I sanded it down, tried to get as much of that off. Um, I'm sure it's considered to be a vintage lock, but uh, to me it's just uh, another warded lock to pick. And it says uh, Walsco, and then um, a little harder to tell because I, I think I got some of that with, uh, with the file. R38. Uh, tried to find it online, really didn't find much of anything outside of a lot of vintage this and vintage that. Uh, as you can see, it looks like any other master lock, a uh, warded master lock, and it's locked up. I feel like I'm doing a magic trick. Uh, this is the pick that I had mentioned in one of my other videos that came from, it's a, a key to open up a can of sardines. And I broke off the top of it, and so I hammered it down a little more and did not do as fine a job uh, filing that kind of a tip on it. Um, well, let's see if this one will do anything. No, it's not. It's not doing anything much. We'll try this other one. And that one's just turning. Oh, there we go, and it's open. Wow. Okay. Let's make sure it's yeah, it's locked. Okay. No, it's still not. Yeah, it's still not open. Okay, make sure it's locked. And I'll use this other uh, half a key. There we go. See? Pop. And there we are. So here we are. Um, another odd thing about this is that right above here, right underneath this ring, it looks like the letters that spell out Italy. I-T-A-L-Y. Uh, why, I don't know. However, that's what it looks like. So, thanks for watching. Take care. Keep Locksport legal. Bye.